Zone of proximal development was first created by a psychologist named Lev Vygotsky. So this states that there are basically two potential components, where the individual currently is in their development and the potential for the individual development. The purpose of the zone of proximal development is to identify the space that is most ideal for learning. This spot is that sweet spot, and it should be just beyond their current level of understanding or capability, but not so far out that they cannot reach it. And when they can't reach it, it obviously leads to exasperation. The zone of proximal development is that space that provides for the most growth and pushes the individual to learn to just the right point. So another way of looking at the zone of proximal development is that it is a bridge between what is too easy and what is too challenging for an individual. So too easy. On the too easy side is the space where the individual puts in very little effort to understand the material. They are bored. And this leads to a lack of learning at even a point when the student will quit learning because they feel like they already know everything. Too challenging. At the other end of the spectrum is where it's too challenging. And this is material that is simply too hard for the student to understand. Let's look at an example. Let's take a beginning algebra student and toss him into a calculus course. Now this student is going to try to understand that material for a little while and then quickly they surmise it's hopeless. There's no point, they'll never get it. And this is what they're saying inside their head. They eventually quit. This then leads to a defeated attitude where the student believes that they are actually incapable of learning because they will then say, well, I didn't understand calculus. What's the point? I can't understand anything. When working with students, the educator can quickly identify the zone by recognizing the difference between what the student can do for themselves and what needs more direction. So the goal is to be in the middle and find material that is just right for them. So if you find that the student isn't asking any questions at all, it's probably too easy. If they are spending a lot of time asking questions and needing help, it's probably too difficult. So scaffolding. Scaffolding is a process similar to a ladder. This is where students are giving little manageable bits or steps or bites of knowledge that lead to greater knowledge. It's really no different than the scaffolding in construction zones. They lift the worker to newer heights, just as scaffolding in education and learning lifts the learner to new levels of understanding. As students become more proficient with the new information and new knowledge, their zone of proximal development is going to move. They gradually become more competent, confident, and independent. The goal for educators is to keep this zone in just the right place for the student to continue to learn and to gain more confidence in their learning capabilities.